Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. This is a complete video to fix all kinds of Windows 10 or Windows 11 issues. We will be repairing if your computer acting weird. Trust me, you just have to watch the whole video and you will be able to fix this computer on your own. If you have startup problems, if you're getting pop-ups or any kind of issues with the computer, we will be repairing the Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. All the steps are very easy and very effective. Please make sure that you watch the whole video. So let's get started. Uh, we will be doing two scenarios here. The first is you are able to turn on your computer, you are able to get onto your desktop and in the second scenario you are in the restart loop you are not able to get onto your computer so we will be covering both the things so here in the search bar you need to type settings and you will find the best match settings app so once you click on that a new window will appear like this and here we need to go to update and security now in update security at the left hand side you will find recovery option so we need to click on that and we have option advanced startup startup from a device or disk such as USB or DVD change windows startup settings or restore windows from a system image this will restart your PC so once we click on restart now and you get this option choose an option continue troubleshoot turn off your PC so we will select troubleshoot now here we have got two options reset this PC and advanced options so we will click on advanced options now here this is a very important window which you need to focus on we have startup repair startup settings uninstall update system restore system image recovery now here if you have issues especially after updating your computer to the latest of Microsoft updates and you have got issues you can uninstall updates from here for that you just need to click on uninstall updates and it will give you two options uninstall the latest quality update and uninstall the latest feature update you, I would recommend to do both the things so if your problem occurred especially after updates it will be fixed now we will move to the next thing if you have issues with the startup repair you get some errors while starting up the windows you just need to click on startup repair and it will restart the computer like this and it will repair your startup you can click on your user account and you can enter the password if you have if you do not have the password just click on continue now since this computer doesn't have any startup issues so this is why I have got this message startup repair couldn't repair your PC not a problem now here we just need to click on advanced options and we will go back and we will go back to the same menu now we will go back to the same menu I'll click on troubleshoot and then advanced option now system restore so if you think that your system is system was working fine for on a certain month on or on a certain date you can restore your computer to the previous date so let's say uh, this uh, currently we are in the month of October so if your computer was working uh, in July or September you can restore your computer you just need to click on system restore and from here since I doesn't have since I don't have the restore points this is why I'm getting this option but you may get some restore points to the earlier point of time and you just need to select that and click on next in this manner your whole computer your whole computer settings will be back to the same date where the restore point was made now system restore point sometimes system also creates the system restore point and some applications also create system restore points so you must check if you have any restore points that can be done so I'll just cancel this and we will go back to the same advanced options now here there is one more option which we call it system image recovery now if you have the startup repair if you have repair disk 
or a USB flash drive where you have the image system image recovery you can select that and with the help of that you will be able to repair your computer you just have to click on next and it will be fixed so I'll just click on next and if you have tried everything and still your computer is not working fine and you have problems with your PC what you can do is you can reset your computer so I can see this option reset this PC let you choose whether you want to keep or remove your personal files so I'll click on reset this PC and I get two options keep my files or remove everything so if you have important files you can back it up because even if you select keep my files there is not a guarantee that you will get those files later on so my recommendation would be if you have something very important back it up first to external hard drive or a USB flash drive and then do this process so once I'll click on keep my files it will give me two op it will give me two options cloud download and local reinstall my recommendation will be to do the cloud download so what it will do is it will download 4 GB of 4 GB plus uh, uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 which you have and it will start repairing and reinstalling Windows so you can try this if this thing doesn't work then you can select local reinstall so you can try both the options this in this manner your Windows will be freshly installed and guys now we will move to the second scenario where where you are unable to get onto your computer you are unable to go to the desktop so what you need to do is you need to restart the computer and when you restart the computer the moment you click on restart and computers thinking to open just keep on pressing F8 or F9 or F10 or F11 whatever key works for you and give you a black screen with advanced options like safe mode with networking safe boot and advanced repair options so you need to go to advanced repair options and you will get repair options there and you will get to the same window which I was there from the recovery you can do that and you can also try safe mode with networking which is really a helpful thing so once we go to the safe mode with networking it also fixes many things automatically so you can if your system have some infections you can do this you can restart the computer in safe mode with networking the process is very easy you just need to restart the computer and keep tapping on F8 F9 F10 or F11 whatever works for you and once you go and once you see the option once you see the black screen of safe mode select the safe mode with networking so that you can also get the internet and once you are on the desktop scan with malware bytes or super anti spyware which is a good antivirus and it also and it will scan your computer for viruses and infections and it will remove all those viruses and make sure you have a clean and good computer with you let me know in the comment section if you have any kind of issues I'll try my best to solve your problem if this video has helped you please hit the like and subscribe i really need your support have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next video